It's been a fast-paced couple of years for gun manufacturers as we've seen a record number of new gun owners join the 2A community. To all you guys out there, welcome! Many of these new gun owners eschewed the badassery of America's rifle, the AR-15, instead opting for the compactness and ease of concealment by buying a pistol. A logical and reasonable decision, but alas, regardless of what pistol you may have purchased, you, the new gun owner, will encounter the first pitfall of gun ownership. The accessory trap. Oh my sweet Jesus. So in our continuing effort to help out YouTube viewers out there while simultaneously trash talking others, here are the top five worst accessories for your pistol that'll let everybody know you have no idea what you're doing. So sit back, count your available Picatinny slots, and let's start the show. Disclaimer! It seems that my faith in people on the internet has been grossly misplaced once again. Over the last few videos, people have been taking our channel way too seriously and making their opinions known in the comments section down below. Now, while I gain great satisfaction from basking in the tears of haters, we don't actually want to scare away new gun owners from the industry or this channel. I will say this clearly one more time to remove any confusion. These videos, they're a joke. And if you can't find the humor in them, well, then you're probably the same dude who stops in to buy condoms on their way to the old family reunion. <laughs> what? Jesus! That was brutal. No doubt you, proud of your first purchase, ran out and posted pictures of your straight out of the box shiny new pistol straight to Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Tinder, and Snapchat. What the hell's a Tinder? I have no idea! And after posting them, that's where you learned the internet loves nothing more than preaching about how great it is that more people are becoming gun owners, while at the same time defecating all over those not magically endowed. <laughs> endowed, that's a funny word. With a John Wick level of expertise about what accessories they should add to their firearm. I mean, crapping all over inexperienced gun owners. <laughs> who, would, uh, who would do that? Karma. Now, as a newly minted American gun owner, America! Ellen! you may have purchased your firearm for a host of reasons, like home defense, personal security, or just because shooting is a heck of a lot of fun. Still, somewhere in your mind, insecurity crept in, and after watching thousands of hours of Naked and Afraid and Bear Grylls drinking his unfiltered urine, you had a realization. Owning a firearm is good, but you cannot go wrong with a knife in any survival situation. But Tyler, you say, I don't want to carry a knife and a pistol. That's two whole things. So after staying up way too late to finish all those uneaten hot wings from your Super Bowl party, you started Googling and found the pistol bayonets. It was at this point you knew exactly what accessory that you were looking for. A sharp, pointy knife protruding past the end of your barrel. Look, I know you're new to owning a firearm, and maybe you're doubting your ability to hit a target given 13 to 17 chances. Perhaps you just watched too much Superman as a kid, and when hucking your pistol at the Man of Steel after running out of ammunition, you're hoping that the sharp pointy thing at the end of your gun will put his eye out. Why does this thing exist? I don't know, and neither does the manufacturer. Buying a knife for your pistol's magazine isn't the correct answer either. Good luck carrying that. Knife wrench! Practical and safe. You know what's a rare thing around these parts? A new shooter with disposable income and a great credit score. Now, I'm sure there's one or two of you out there. That's right, I'm looking at you, Dad. You decided to skip a level and upgrade to a higher tier of gun ownership by getting yourself an AR-15 with that new pistol. That is awesome! Or at least it was, until you put a mule stock on it. What's a mule stock, you might ask? It's a stock for your AR-15 that also doubles as a holster for your pistol. Wait, this thing's real? I quit. I guess your local gun store was out of holsters, and you didn't know that our friends at Precision Holsters existed. Make sure to go check those guys out. I can only assume the inventor of this product asked the question, how can I make accessing my pistol more difficult, less natural, and a whole lot more dangerous. I know, let's shove it in the butt of my rifle. If you're using this today, I can only assume that you still get mailed DVDs from Netflix and purposefully remove the airbags from any car that you buy. What's wrong with you? 
The mule is the definition of fixing something that isn't broken. When Saint Stoner and His Holiness Mickey Kalashnikov see this on your rifle, they're gonna point and laugh and make sure you never sit at the grown-ups table at any Thanksgiving ever again. <laughs> Adding a light to your pistol is an excellent idea because a fundamental rule of firearm safety is to be sure of your target and what's beyond it. And a bright light, which does help you see, makes this easier. But another rule is never touching your finger until you're ready to fire, which is what makes this following product so baffling. It's a light that's activated by putting your finger on the trigger. That's right. These folks want you to activate your light, which is used to identify a threat, by putting your finger on the trigger. Think about that for a sec. What if it's not a threat? Well, then you're pointing your weapon with your finger on the trigger at something you do not intend to shoot. Yeah, that's a hard no, buddy. Now here's a hard truth, new pistol owner. You may have watched all four Die Hard movies and thousands of hours of videos from my fellow gun tubers. But take it from me, they'll let almost anybody have a YouTube channel and not all those channels give good advice. Oh boy, <laughs> getting a little hot in here or is it just me? Whoa, it's not that warm, folks. Imagine this scenario. You hear a noise in your house. You grab your pistol, and after fumbling to remove it from your mule stock, you make your way into the living room. You're startled by something in front of you. Now you put your finger on the trigger to activate the light, then blam! The pistol goes off, and before you know it, you have accidentally reenacted the end of Old Yeller, and the ATF is sending you a job application because they think you've shown remarkable aptitude and dedication to the craft. All the while, your wife and kids are trying to decide the new dog's name, as well as a new last name for themselves. What kind of jackass would use a mule stock anyway? <laughs> yeah, see what I did there? Mule stock. No? Okay, let's move on. Thunder Nation, do you have too many friends? Yup! You need to lose a few because your flip phone can only hold 25 contacts. Yes! Definitely. Do you prefer anyone who may have even been slightly attracted to you in the first place to instantly get the message that you are not interested in human interaction ever, all without ever having to say a word? Well, slap down 50 buckaroos and get yourself some artificially saggy plastic to add to your pistol because the gunsticles are for you. Everyone at the range will know what kind of alpha you are when they see these bad boys swinging under recoil, baby. If you've decided to attach these $50 gag gifts, emphasis on the gagging to your firearm, well, at least get a pair that matches the ones on your truck. I would say here, ask your girlfriend if they match, but if you're buying these, you already know by now that your hand does not talk back. The other accessories on this list can conjure up some backwards logic for their existence, but not these. If you have an artificial scrotum on your firearm, you just like nuts and way too much. You know what's worse than losing all your current friends? Think how cool the new friends are gonna be who think these are awesome. Well, you can all just hang out in the basement together and laugh, but not too loud because you don't want to wake up your mom and your new dad. Now, having shelled out hundreds upon hundreds of dollars for your new firearm, saving a buck, well, it might seem like a good idea. First, you will scour the internet looking for the best deals and promotions out there. Then, like a beacon to how much brighter you are than everybody else, you will stumble upon the great Chinesium distributor, Wish.com. Mother of God. If you are unfamiliar with this website, it's basically like the Etsy of Chinese manufacturers. I mean, why pay top dollar for a red dot when Wish.com has one that looks just like that aim point for 15 bucks and three cereal box tops? I'm sure it's just as good. After all, it looks like the more expensive thing. Then you will bask in your intellect and smirk at that one guidance counselor who wrote gullible on your report card. Lig my balls. One credit card number later, and you've kitted out your pistol with the best products that China can counterfeit in only a few keystrokes. You have no worries that the red dot will rattle itself apart after four shots and the weapon light somehow makes the whole room darker when you turn it on. And let's not forget, like a certain manufacturer out there, they may have a tendency to explode. 
Save your wishes for things that matter, like lower ammo prices and figuring out what that weird smell in your car is, not for saving a few bucks on accessories. All right, Tundra Nation, that is another one in the books. Let me know in the comment section down below if I forgot your favorite bad accessory or just tell me why I'm wrong. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you like this video. Join us over on Twitch at Tundra Gaming Live where we chat, play games, and make sure to come back next week when we still don't know what the heck we're doing. <laughs> Bye.